Welcome. We're going to paint some pieces and show you some options from our new choose your own sign uh, selection. I think this is one of my favorite new kits. I'm going to start out with just doing a couple background pieces. You will be able to do all of the sections of your kit in very similar ways. This is the solid striped backer, and I'm just going to use a baby wipe and some brown, and I'm simply going to get this on here. When you're doing this with the browns, especially if you're using a gel stain, which is what I'm using here today, you want to work quickly and get it evenly placed across your pieces. This particular product I'm using dries very quickly, so I want to get it all blended and on here. You could do a second coat if you wanted it to be darker. If you're doing this with um, some of the cutout sections, you're going to want to work as quickly as you can, but blend it in so that you have um, it covered. You may have to go back and wipe some out of the shaped pieces. Now this particular piece you probably can see in the camera has wood grain that looks a little different. So I will go back and add some uh, additional coverage to this, but you're gonna do many of your pieces in the same way. For your more delicate or smaller pieces, this happens to be the largest high, you're going to use, um, at least I recommend, you're gonna use an up and down motion with your paint. I'm going to just get it on the one side of my foam brush, not the other. I'm putting my finger on there and I'm just doing a light tapping or bouncing motion, holding it down with my fingernail to get that covered. Set that aside to dry. I'm gonna do the same thing with my little eye dot and then with my word. So I'm just doing that up and down bouncing motion. Sometimes you have to go over it several times just to uh, get your complete coverage. It might dry and you might need to go back and do a little bit more um, so that it looks the way you like it. There's always options. Maybe you don't want it completely covered. Maybe you're gonna come back and sand it to distress it a little bit. You have to be careful with the tiny 3D pieces with sanding, but this one's pretty substantial. I probably could do a little sanding with it. This kit is fun because you, if you're watching this, you're probably already purchased your kit and you're getting ready to paint, but you know that it came with a whole bunch of options. You've got words to pick from, you have patterns to pick from, as well as your your bow color. Okay, so I'm going to get this all covered with my white paint. Maybe I might need a little more, we'll see. Set that aside to dry. And while those pieces are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some options. Um, maybe you wanna watch this prior to choosing your kits so that you can get some ideas of what the different things look like. So let's start with our herringbone pattern. So with our herringbone option, you could do, you know, all black. Maybe you wanna go with the black and white, or I'm sorry, black and white bow, but with the black on here, just tweaking it with a little other color makes a difference. You could choose to do our um, hello. So let me put that on there. We've got our letters with a little heart. This is in the black combination. You could swap it out for 
the other color of bow. Maybe you wanna do those words in white. I'll show you that hello in white here in a minute. Or maybe we want to just do hi. And you know what, I think, let's see here. Um, I don't have a big or a little white high. So this is our small high. It does also have a uh, heart with it. This is a good one. You could put the bow on the side. So that's a fun little look. Let's swap out our bottom. This was the herring bone. Let's put in the plaid. This is our tiny buffalo plaid, if you will. That look, maybe you wanna try it with the black and white bow. That is super cute. Again, we can mix up the words. Let's put the white hello or white welcome back on there. Shift that up to the top and you have a different look. So many different combinations with this one. Let's switch out our buffalo plaid and bring in our solid. This is our solid striped part. I already have my home, sweet home started on here. This one fits on like so. When you're gluing it, you wanna make sure you leave the equal distance um, between your pieces. So it has, has uh, a straight gap. And there is our suite. You could shift this up a little bit if you decided you wanted to do that. The Home Sweet Home does not fit on all of the patterns as easily. If you look through the gallery, you'll see some different options. You just might have to shift your bow up a little bit depending on where you put your Home Sweet Home. So that is an option. Perhaps you want to do a different color background. So I have for us, another option. Here is a black background. This is our arrows uh, pattern with the white hello. That's how that looks with our black and white plaid. Let's try it out with the tan. Super cute. You could, if you wanted to, uh, move your words onto the pattern. I like it on the black background. We can swap out the hello for something else. Let's take a look at what it looks like with the welcome. Lots of options with our greenery, perhaps our buffalo check, black and white. That's a cute one. I also have one. The arrow pattern does have three little pieces that complete the pattern, so you don't wanna lose those when you're working at home. This one is our leaves. That is super cute. I really do like this tan bow with that one. Perhaps you can try out the other words on here, such as the hello, let me pop that back on here. Shift that a little bit. Also has the heart. You can shift it to one side completely if you'd like. Put your bow on at an angle. Lots of super cute looks with this one. This one also I really like with our dog pattern. So let me grab, swap out our dog pattern here. But I'm gonna flip this round over. I did do white on the background just to show you. You're gonna do your background pieces um, with, you know, whatever color you'd like. Perhaps you want it to be um, 
a black background like I just showed you, or this white one really pops, I'm going to add welcome. And it'll take you a few minutes to get these exactly where you want them when you're ready to glue, but you can kind of just dip them down into some glue and then put them where they need to be. I always get mine on here, get it where I want it to be before I start gluing. That way I can move, rearrange if I don't have it centered. Um, I always get them, get them in the right place before we start gluing. So oh, there's our T. O and our G and our S. So see, I need to move this a little bit. You can play around with where you want them before you're gluing them um, so that you have them all in the right spot. So there is welcome. Hope you like dogs, black and white. Very cute. We could add in, uh, let's see, let me bring back that first pattern that we just painted a few minutes ago. This was our brown stripe. And maybe you don't want to have um, your uh, pattern above, which obviously this one wouldn't fit there. You can do your pattern down at the bottom, have your greenery up top. So this is the solid striped um, background pattern. And let's finish up with our uh, big giant. Oh, wait, I have one more. Hold on. I'm going to keep this here. I am going to show you the large plaid overlap piece. This is just a big swipe of plaid. I think it's the best one with high. <clears throat> Perfect there. I like that one a lot. You probably would not want to um, choose other particular, like the Home Sweet Home, I don't think would be the best choice for this one. You could do the welcome if you wanted to put it across here, that would work out. You could try out the, um, hello across there. Oops. I'm like looking at this backwards here. Um, where'd my heart go? Do, do, do. You know what? I think this little guy, nope, he's right. Heart. That could go on there like so. And then, um, what am I missing? I'm, oh, my big giant high. How about if we do, let's see, let's get our black background for another option. Let's bring back that brown one that I painted a few minutes ago. I will put a second coat on this one. I think it needs it. The gap is larger between the middle and the top stripe. We have our giant high and our heart. You could decide where you want to put that heart. Maybe there, maybe over here. If I put it on that side, I think I will go with my greenery crooked like so. That is super cute. So lots of options for this mix and match door hanger. Uh, gallery pictures uh, on the website for all kinds of ideas. Super easy to paint. It has the hanger on the back like our usual wands do. We just glue it on there and you're good to go. Thanks guys.